we have a real treat coming up for you. This is from my amazing, amazing friend Lutz, who I just cherish so much. He has taken out his time to come and perform for us today from an album that he just dropped. Lutz, are you in the house with us tonight? Yes. Oh, Hello, I hear Karen. that Thanks voice. Thanks for having me. Really I hear that voice. It. Yes. Before we even start, if you just want to uh, just briefly let everyone know your name and the name of the album before you get started with the song. Yeah. Um, so, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Luciana Deroche. Um, I also, uh, I guess, uh, go uh, by the name of Lutz. Um, I just released an album on the 8th. 18th of uh, December and it's uh it's uh, called uh Lutz uh, volume one you can find it uh, pretty much anywhere online and uh yeah we're gonna yeah. sing a little original um for you guys uh this one uh goes by the name of a uh, tumbleweed so um uh may we yo you can do you you go for it so floor is yours right. I'll finish that sentence for you. That was perfect. That's what that was. And we Thank are just, you. that was just so perfect. I just saw all the comments coming in. People are messaging me saying how comforting that was. And I'm seeing all just the applause. And 
Lutz, you know, I noticed that there was uh, a word in the, you kept on saying word tumbleweed. And yes, yes. can you tell me why you named the song that? Like, what's the meaning behind that? So I guess where this all, I guess, uh, sort of uh, came from was the idea is like when this whole uh, COVID happened, um, it sort of really like uh, put something in uh, my head, like where it's like, we really have no control, like what happens, like, so if you want to, I guess, sort of uh, stay like a positive uh, with it all, you, you kind of just got to think that we're all just like a tumbleweed that's just rolling in the wind and just like, uh, like almost surrendering uh, to like what is and just like working with it rather than against it. And that's all sort of where it all kind of happened. That is so powerful, yeah. working with it instead of against it. And I love the way you said in the wind, I kind of feel like it's a storm more of a hurricane yeah. than the wind. And yeah, maybe there's a little more wind right now. Than yeah, usual, I was about but... to say, I like, yeah. you know, I like the way you soothe things down, just like your voice. Right. But it's a storm. And, but your voice, as everyone's saying is just so soothing. And I like the way you, you said, we have to surrender to it. You know, yeah. I feel like we want, when we fight something, the fight just gets harder. But when we surrender, because surrendering is hard, but in surrender, it becomes easier. Is there a time in your life, because we've had some great convos, is there a time in your life that was really challenging where you had to surrender and how did you overcome? Um, I mean, yeah, like I'm sure everyone's had them, uh, right? Um, I would say it was when I was really young, I was actually, una I was unaware of it until it had reoccurred when I was about 16 years old. I was, I guess, re-diagnosed with uh, what's uh, called ITP. And it's essentially a rare form of uh, blood uh, disorder that's essentially a, a deficiency in uh, platelets. And for anyone who's not aware of what that is, I know I was not until I had to uh, learn about it. It's essentially what helps heal wounds and heals uh, bruises. So I was in and out of uh, McMaster for a long time and was uh, trying like a bunch of this uh, medication that they had me on and off of. I had uh, transfusions three times a week. Um, and then on top of that, like a, like a, a teenager, I went snowboarding and I had a couple of uh, broken wrists about an hour later and it was just like a st like just rolling with all of the uh, what I guess you would want to look at as as uh, negatives where then I just realized like you know what it is what it is um, this whole ITP thing I ended up just stopping all of uh, my uh, medications and just uh, decided to take a healthy road of uh, how I live. And from there, I started to look at like life as the idea where it's either, it's you either learn or, or it's a, a oh, like life is either a lesson or it's a, a blessing. And I've just realized you're gonna have a lot of lessons as uh, time goes on. Like, except like I sit here now and I'm like, let's go, you know, like what does life have? <laughs> yeah, bring, like, it take it on. bring it on, bring it on, whatever life has, bring it on. Yeah. Yeah, and I love the way you said, it, you know, you said lessons or blessings and that's gonna be the hashtag of the night, lessons nice. and nice. blessings. And you're such an overcomer, do you, feel that what happened to you in your youth is what makes you so resilient today? I would essentially say that like anything that happens, it's like I am wh where I am like a today because of what I did yesterday. Like it's, it, it all like sort of relays off each other, uh, but uh, definitely I would say I'm more open-minded to the fact of, I guess that whole, like I, the whole idea 
of there's a lot of like lessons in life rather than uh, negatives like probably because of everything that's happened and it was either I could have uh, t- taken them that way or just like I guess like worked against it and yeah like where yeah. are you gonna go if you do that so And what I love about you is you're really open with your emotions and you were talking about wounds and healing and you were so expressive in your music. The question I have for you as a man, do you find as a man that men have a hard time expressing themselves because you seem so open? Um, See, that's that's kind of like a tough one. Like uh, personally, I would say it helped a lot that I was raised with uh, two older sisters in uh, the house. Um, I mean, yeah, like I have a lot of friends of uh, mine who, you know, I'm talking about uh, Disney when I was younger and they're talking about like a GI Joe. Um, So I would say like, because a man was always like looked at as having to be like the provider and, and, you know, like, uh, you can't show like emotions, I sort of like bypassed all that, which I'm like, very thankful for. Um, I mean, I was like raised in a household where everyone was just like treated like equally, um, which is like, very, like I said, I'm like, super uh, grateful for that. Um, But I could uh, totally see how in like, the later generations, it's it's a little more like a hard to open up, I guess, and just like have that softer side, like allow your wife to pay for the bill, you know, like it's okay. Yeah. Why not? Like, right. You win. Right. Yeah. I'm like, I, you want to pay? Absolutely. <laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah. I love you, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I love your mindset. I love you. We love your music. Speaking of your music, where can we find your music? Um, you can find it uh, pretty much on every uh, major uh, platform um, that would uh, be on the internet. Um, I know there's like a bunch like Spotify, Spotify. Apple Music, awesome. you know, iTunes. Awesome. I know there's like awesome. Amazon Music, you have a title, all those. I don't really know all of them. Uh, but I know you're going to be everywhere. You're going to, you are so, out yeah. there. And I love the way you just put that in the universe. And my tech team is going to bring up your slides so we could see the beautiful album that dropped oh, on. Wicked. Oh, look at that on look Friday. That. So we just congratulate you. you. If you guys can just congratulate Luke. We're so proud of you, of everything you've overcome. And I just loved everything you shared because you are such a representation of resilience. And that's exactly what we all need. And thank you for just sharing your talents, your skills. Thank you. We need a lot more of you and we will all be downloading your music. Thank you. I say the exact same your way. So like, like I really appreciate the uh, the opportunity and you're amazing. Mm-hmm. Thank so thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I miss you already. Thank you, Lutz. Thank you, guys. Thank you.